Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, where we discuss mythology and presented in our pieces from ancient Greece. In today's episode, we will be looking at the water jars, or hydra, of the chariot of Achilles dragging the corpse of Hector. This hydra was produced around 520 to 510 BC during the Archaic period in Athens, Greece. Art in the Archaic period is known for its more naturalistic style, as opposed to the more rigid and geometric style of the previous period, the geometric period. Paintings on pottery often depict human figurines and mythology scenes, such as in this hydra. This hydra is a good example of black figure pottery. In black figure pottery, figures are drawn onto the clay, and prior to turn black, the mythologian details are incised or carved onto the black. The parts of the clay that were not drawn onto remain the reddish tint of the natural clay. And these two pieces of pottery here are all examples of black figure pottery. Back to this hydra. This hydra depicts the scene from the Trojan War. The Trojan War is a mythological war between the Greeks and the Trojans after the Prince of Troy took the king of Sparta's wife, Helen. With the aid of Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love, Paris was able to win Helen's heart, and the two of them ran away to, together to Troy. In an attempt to give Helen back, King Menelaus, Menelaus of Sparta rallied together all of the Greek city-states to lay siege to Troy and return Helen to Sparta. In this hydra, the Greek hero Achilles is seen dragging the corpse of the Trojan warrior Hector. Achilles is half god, half human, being the son of the sea nymph Thetis, and the mortal king, Peleus, while Hector is the mortal prince of Troy. After an argument with Agamemnon, another Greek warrior, Achilles refuses to fight until he apologizes to him. As a result of Achilles not partaking in the battle, the Trojans gain significant grounds on the Greeks. While Achilles is still refusing to fight, his companion Patroclus decides to dress up in Achilles' armor and attend him in battle. The plan was to scare the Trojans back by the mere image of Achilles. The plan worked, and the Trojans were driven back into Hector, fought, and killed Patroclus. Now, the relationship between Achilles and Patroclus has been interpreted in many different ways. Some view them to be best friends, others view them to be lovers, but regardless of the relationship, the death of Patroclus brought immense pain and distress to Achilles as a result of losing someone who he loved very dearly. To avenge Patroclus' death, Achilles seeks out and slays Hector. And on the right side of this hydra, we can see the grave of Patroclus right over here, which shows that this act of killing Hector is an act of revenge. And on this left side of the Hydra, we are able to see Hector's parents, Priam and Hecuba, addressing mourning the loss of their son. A prophecy stated that Achilles would either gain glory and die young, or live a long, uneventful life in obscurity. With the death of Patroclus, this prophecy becomes true. Since shortly after Achilles kills Hector, his own death follows when Paris, with the aid of Apollo, the god of sun and light, who is also known as the god of archery, guides Paris's arrow to strike down Achilles. This hydra is currently at view at the Museum of Fine Art in Boston, Massachusetts. Thanks for tuning in to this week's video. Hope to see you again next week.